I think I'll get back into the UFC for sure. I have a lot, a lot to fight for. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But also I think the competition between two people like that, I think is, is one of the best learning lessons I've ever come across. I think there's, there's not many things in this world that evokes as much emotion from an individual as getting inside of a cage and fighting with somebody. And I think that looking at your emotions or being like, you know, it comes from, you know, being aware, self-assessment. And that's what fighting to me has become strictly a learning tool and my teachers are my opponents and my peers you know they get in there and they're ready to expose me of all my weaknesses they're ready to break me down and I need to to confront those things and I, I don't know the more I look at it like that the more I start to appreciate fighting mentally it'll be a whole different ball game when I get back I'll have a whole different way of living a whole different way of conducting myself during the day I'll wake up differently, I'll go to bed differently, I'll see the world differently throughout the day, I'll have a different different way about myself, which will allow me to evolve. It'll allow me to mold and shape into a person that I would have never ever be, been able to become had I not learned the things that I learned here. The lights are about to go down inside the joint at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Tulsa, Oklahoma after what was an epic night of mixed martial arts for Legacy Fighting Championship number 29. Let's see how the return plays out here for Jonathan Brookins. He does come in the favourite thanks to MMAOddsBreaker.com. Kalikas and the crew have him at minus 780. The comeback on Fuller at plus 460. On the... Access TV Fights app, 84% of you believe that Brookins will win. Only 16% favoring Cody Fuller. Brookins looking very confident standing up here. What's he looking to do here, Brookins? Well, huh? Brookins doing a good job controlling the hip. You see him straighten the leg now and then to control the legs and the hips. Brookins who's fought the likes of Luis Palomino, Michael Johnson, Wagner Rocha, Steven Ledbetter, Jose Aldo, Jose Figueroa, and many more. I don't know if that back. banana splits isn't going to work on a guy that does yoga, though. They're pretty flexible. Cody Fuller not really liking the stand-up. Oh, gets tagged with the right hand, which is what you want to do against the southpaw. Break! And we go to the towers. 10-9, so Brookins says Pat Miletic. Brookins cornered, telling him keep the fight on the ground. Don't scrap with Fuller. Break! Fuller's got to throw more than one or two shots to get inside. Fuller drops down, Brooklyn sprawls. Brooklyn shutting He's everything running. down. Showing his experience. Brooklyn's trying to work that choke in. He's getting close. And this could be it for Fuller. He taps out. Brooklyn's successful on his legacy debut. Successful at 125, even though we should note he did weigh in at 128 yesterday. And showed good composure coming back. What was the game plan going into the fight? Uh, just to like relax and have fun, you know. I'd been over a year since I fought, so I just kind of wanted to just get in there and just see how like everything felt. Um, I just went and I, I traveled for a while. I, I went to um, India and I was just kind of like learning about the body and yoga and I I came back and I thought, you know, maybe there's something more. There's some limits that I could I could press my body and something I could learn through this experience. Like not just cut weight just to cut weight or to be a fighter, but there's maybe something about myself I could learn through this experience through um, testing those limits. So to kind of transcend just fighting, and um, it, uh, it it uh, it it seemed to do its purpose. I learned a lot, and uh, that was that was the whole goal was to learn more about myself. <laughs>